my friends and welcome back to the bench today we're going to be testing bear b-e-h-r premium spray paints i noticed these at a recent trip to my local home depot and uh, really like the color options and i grabbed one and it performed really well and your feedback has been great so i went back and got a a little bit of a variety of colors. I, obviously, I couldn't get them all. I'll show you all the colors right now. The point here is to see how it behaves on plastic, which is what we do here on the channel. Uh, we are plastic uh, model-centric channel, so everything we do is based, will it work, on plastic. But it does say it. It adheres to wood, metal, plastic, and more. Early test, it requires a primer. If you're going to put it on a Gumpla piece, that's why I primed this one. So uh, I'll show you what happens before the test even starts. Here is a piece of Gumpla piece, uh, Gumpla piece, and you can see what happened. It ate it up. See it? But over primer, it doesn't do this at all. It just doesn't like the type of plastic that is. That said, over a uh, primed piece, high quality, you're going to see it in a minute. And uh, over the spoons, it didn't do that. So it just doesn't like this plastic here for the kits. So I would recommend straying away from that. Now, I do have this kit here from Air Fix, And I'm going to see if we can airbrush on top of this. By airbrushing, I mean I decanted a couple of them. Here's the black. Here is the rose gold. All right. Now, we're going to go over the colors quickly without even pulling them up. Dark steel, titanium, antique brass rose gold matte black iron mountain that's a gray that's satin and a gloss flirt alert red and tropics green these are glosses this is a satin that's a matte satin satin gloss gloss so they're telling you what they're going to be and the cans have a different shade to them so you can tell what you're getting uh, also we'll try spray some on some metal so i bought these uh private property signs because they're made out of steel or tin whatever they are but hey we'll see how they perform on metal which is probably where they're meant to be sprayed before I go any further please like the video subscribe if you haven't already if you like these kind of tests uh, we're in the uh, drive here to get more subscribers I try to put up two videos a week one at least a week uh, two is what we've been averaging so you, you we are no star you are not starved for any new videos on this channel we're going to test anything to do with paint or anything to do related to hobby model building and uh, so please subscribe it's uh, it's an important as we get up there because the giveaway when I reach a hundred thousand is going to be spectacular I'll be giving away one of my airbrushes which is coming out very soon and the whole kit and caboodle air compressor spray booth a set of paints a kit everything everything that gets you started in the kit I'll even throw in the paint everything you won't even need nothing I'll have a knife I'll have a Nippers, everything will be in the box. It's a mega super giveaway, and we only can do that if we achieve the dream of 100,000 subscribers. Now, here is the pamphlets they gave me at the store for the colors. Now, these are the glosses. Look at that. I got one of the reds, and there's the green that I got. Here is the metallics. They have chalk, which is... Uh, it's a dead flat. I probably should have tried that, but I didn't. Here's the colors for the chalk surface. That is a satin or a complete matte. This is the hammered look. I got those on a, the new rust trigger handled uh, spray cans. Really nice, actually. And these are their standard metallics, the rose gold. I got a few of these. Obviously, that's the ones that I got here. I'll hold this back. The color I really wanted was this blue. Look at this. Let me see. Look at that. They didn't have it. They didn't have it. I had the uh, dark steel is the one we have, the titanium I have, and look at that. Nickel, soft iron, really nice colors, really nice colors. But I really wanted that blue. And what do we have here? Oh, these are the mats. Oh, I should say chalk. I call them dead matte. And uh, there was a, quite a few to choose from there, but I didn't have everything because I wanted to try this blue. And some of these greens, um, I'm actually planning on a kit with a couple of these colors. And... Um, it would have gone a long way if they had them, but I think they're just starting to get all of them in at my local area. Now, we, I decanted these. I'm letting them sit. They're pretty thin. I put a few drops of lacquer thinner. Uh, I'm not sure what these are as I went nuts trying to figure it out what type of paint these are. 
most of the time they're enamels but personally they don't smell like enamel but I just don't know see I keep looking if you guys know what kind of paint this is let me know but even if it's an enamel I still thin with lacquer thinner that's how I spray my enamels anyway but on camera I think we're gonna do a metallic we'll do one of these solid colors everything else we we'll do off camera we will do these two though so we're gonna spray two we're gonna airbrush two and um, yeah we'll take it from there I do have a plan to show you guys each color I have here even though it doesn't represent the whole lineup at least you get to see um, what they look like the colors that I do have so without any further delay let's head over to my booth and let's get spraying all right guys here we are at the booth we're gonna go with dark steel I've been shaking it off screen very thick very heavy but the nozzle performs really well so we're gonna go with a white spoon a primered gray spoon and a flat black spoon and a heads up this is the flat black in their spray can that you just saw on the bench it is really good now we're gonna about a foot apart and hit with a light layer and uh, really nice uh, quite impressed when I first got home and tried one and then I ran out after hearing some great feedback and got a few more cans the black helps show it up a little bit it looks rough but actually it isn't I think the camera is playing tricks on you I think we'll stop there you can tell it's on a glossy surface so you're gonna get a gloss it is a gloss but I think it depends on the surface we'll let that dry we'll go over it at the bench this is the one with the gray go not much of a difference but I will mark it so we know it put that aside I gotta put a G on the bottom there so we can tell it's a gray there we go very good I wonder how it'll look if I put a candy color over it maybe I'll do that at the end of the test all right guys let me grab another can and then we'll airbrush some all right you can tell what color is next I uh, did a little test spray because the red seems to come out real heavy Look at that. This, <laughs> this is, uh, we're done. We're done. That covered. I was going to do two light coats and uh, at a foot and a half apart, we're done. It did come out beautiful, though. I mean, really good. You could paint a car kit with this. No problem. Let's try it over gray. And it's really opaque, so I think it's going to cover no matter what. Let's try it over black. Yeah, that is it. All right. All right. Let me grab the ones I decanted and let's airbrush some. All right. Next up is rose gold that I uh, decanted. All right. We use my uh, gallery advanced. Oh, there we go. Comes out good. All right, let's grab a white spoon. I don't know if that's going to show up here. Oh, an airbrush is really nice. All right, we'll let that sit. I don't even know if you guys can see it. Beautiful. Let's try it over black. I imagine you guys can probably see this better. There we go. You stop there. It has its own look right there. It looks rough, guys, but it actually isn't. It must, I think it's the way the light is reflecting off of the metal flake. I'll show you at the bench. Yeah, it's a really nice color. Let's go back to the white spoon. Yeah, the airbrush is good. Let's try it on that gray piece. So let's go ahead top a little more off in here and let's see what we get All right I'll let that dry for a second 
Now let's see if it, it gets affected on this brand plastic. This is an Airfix kit. It actually looks like it's spraying on this quite fine. So it's certain plastics. I'm going to do the other side with the flat black that I decanted, so we'll see how each type, that's an opaque, we'll see what that does. Wow, it, yeah, the airbrush is really nice. I'll show you the colors at the bench, you'll probably be able to see it a little better. Let me put this aside. Got a magnet right over here that holds up. All right, let's finish this off, and we'll go on to the black. I wanted to show you that, uh, after showing you that first piece in the red, that the difference here that you can actually decant and put some primer down and get some nice effects here. All right, that's it. I'm going to clean out this gun with some lacquer thinner, then a shot of acetone. Let me grab the black. We'll shoot that through an airbrush, and we'll wrap this up. All right, guys, it is the decanted flat black, or matte black, in the airbrush. We'll start with the kit here. Not showing up. Might have thinned it a little too much. Oh, it's starting to come in. There it is. It's starting to come in. Oh, it looks pretty good, actually. So let's go ahead and look at this over a white spoon. Let's see what we're getting here. Let's show you what's happening. See, it's coming out like a smoky, um, smoky grayish black. But it is covering. I wish that was the color. The great color. Uh, I love those. Uh, mid-level grays for uh, frames, chassis parts. It's a, it's a great color. Yeah, you can just keep layering it on. It, it goes. Behaves a little differently than the other ones because of the matte. But it does your brush really well. Let's see if it's affecting this plastic. It looks like it isn't. tail fin there. It dries to a beautiful flat black. You saw those spoons. They were just awesome. All right. That is good. Look at that. Nice and even. All right. I'll clean up this airbrush. Uh, I'll have this dry to its flat look. Meet you back at the bench. All right, my friends, back at the bench, and uh, great results. This is a very good, I call them industrial spray paints because you get them at the hardware store, not really made for model building. But uh, here is the green over white, or whatever color that is, a mint green. Look at the red, how beautiful. Look at that. This is the gray. This is a satin finish. Highly recommended to use as a primer. If you decant it, you're going to get a lot of mileage out of that. Uh, I think the flats and the, the regular colors, I think, were $6.99, and then they were metallics. They were $9.99. And like I said, if you decant them, you're getting a lot of paint at that price point. Here is the matte black out of the spray can. Look at how even and beautiful. Now, this is it decanted. It's a little lighter gray, which, personally, I actually like. Check that out. I think if I put another coating on, it would have came up to this because out of the spray can, it's really heavy. But check out how nice it went down on the aircraft. It wasn't affected by it at all. And here it is, the rose gold on this side. Hard to see. I probably should have put the rose gold, you know, on top of the black. But at least I, I could see that I, it's airbrushable. It's smooth. It looks like it's rough. But it's just the lighting. I don't know if I can get the lighting here. It's just the way it looks. It's as smooth as the black is. And here is the rose gold, over white, over gray. Of 
course, you're going to get different tones depending on what it goes over. This is over the gray Gumpla piece. Nice and even it came out. It didn't run or didn't bubble up. It didn't like this black plastic. I sprayed it directly over it. But you know what? It has kind of a look I do like. That hammered metal look. But nothing works over these black spoons that I purchased at all. So whatever the plastic is, uh, I can't use it for testing unless I go ahead and put a primer on it. Now this is over black, their black spray paint. This is like this rose gold on top of their black. And that's what you get there. Not quite the rosy color. This is the antique brass over gray primer over shiny white plastic. A little different look. All right, here is the titanium. We'll move this out of the way. Over gray, over white. You can see it's a little different. Eh, a little bit, you can see it there. Then I went ahead and uh, grabbed my Tamiya Lacquer Claire Red and tried it over the titanium. And that's what I got. So it will take the Tamiya on top of it, no problem. And at the end here, we have the Dark Steel, a great color. Over white, over gray, over black. Beautiful color. And then I went ahead and tried the lacquer Tamiya Clear Red on top of it. And I got that. Actually, a really nice looking car color there. That would look good on a car. And I tried it on this little Gumpla piece I was experimenting with. And actually, it looks pretty good. So... Yeah, I give a thumbs up to these. These are some of the best industrial spray cans I've used uh, on plastics uh, in quite a while. The Rust-Oleums and the Krylons, they're, they're just awful. Now, uh, speaking of Krylon and Rust-Oleum, I was recommended that this would give a good uh, plated gold look. I've had bad luck, but they says, no, this will give you a nice shiny look look a plate of look so i will be testing this i'm curious as well as this color shot um this is also supposed to be shiny shiny metallic we'll, we'll see uh i might test both of those in their own i might put them together in the video and do a short video on those i'm curious but uh yeah uh, a thumbs up here guys uh these are good paints um if you decant them you're going to get a lot of mileage out of them particularly if you do the grays and the blacks you can use it as a primer it really, really have a, uh, a lot of paint there for your dollar. And again, you could probably paint a car kit with this. I mean, this is just beautiful. So there you go. That's the test. Uh, please, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, let me see if I can move this out of the way and show you something stuff that's coming up. This came in today. Yes, the prism blue black paint from Gaia. Highly sought after, 20-something bucks a bottle, 30 to 50 to 100, including shipping if you went on eBay. Um, this is coming very soon to America in the low 20s. Very reasonable as far as other prices go. Um, we're going to test this, but we're also going to see what matches this color. It kind of looks like this. The label gets uh, captures what it looks like pretty close. So that's going to be the goal of this test. What else looks like it for less money? Uh, I got in today more SMS paints, including, look, a prismatic, another prismatic uh, holochrome. So we're going to try that. I think we're going to try it. Oops, we're losing an airbrush. Look out, gallery. Get back up there. Look at this. I got the Green Stuff World. I don't think I ever tested it. The bottle came in a little beat up. But, um, yeah, we're going to try the Green Stuff World holographic and the SMS. Maybe we'll do that in the same video. And also, let me get these cans out of the way. Good news before we say goodbye. The uh, Barbatos Rex Swallowtail Gallery Airbrush uh, will be out this month. Uh, very excited. Uh, we're going to be giving some away. Also, one will be part of our big giveaway when we finally reach the 100 thou. Um, very impressive airbrush. Uh, I haven't shown it yet because I don't want you to see it and then say, well, where can I get it? Uh, we're going to show it closer to its release date. And um, the pricing point is going to be 119 totally worth it for what you're getting here. 
particularly at the quality that I've tested. Uh, we're going to have a discount code to get it for you for our 99 bucks. We're going to have free shipping. This is going to be an exciting, exciting launch. And I can't wait for you guys to get this airbrush and try it for yourself. And uh, I can't wait to even show it to you. So, um, yeah, this will be out uh, very soon. I will have a dedicated video just for that. And we'll be giving some away. Very, uh, very exciting times here at the Barbatos Rex household. Anyway, guys, that is the video for today. Stay tuned for the next video. I might have another spray can test. I'm going to test this holochrome. We're going to try this prism black from Gaia. I got more Gaia paints. I got more SMS paints. A lot of tests coming up. A lot of tests coming up. Uh, we won't be short for any uh, material. So, like I said, please subscribe if this is the kind of thing you guys want to see. And uh, thumbs up helps the video a lot. Leave a comment. I answer all your questions. Uh, I get a lot of them overnight, so while I'm sleeping, you'll notice I'm not answering a question. That is why. Anyway, guys, God bless you all. You are the best. We will see you in the next video.